Toxico Watch Foundation gives advice and consultation on topics of POPs, EDCs and other environmental pollutants. The Foundation concerns itself with environmental, food and public health safety. The Foundation is a bridge between public concern, industrial and government issues. Private parties support the Foundation. Can dioxins be in such a paradise? Pilot study dioxins, Harlingen, the Netherlands. Harlingen is a fine picturesque city in the northwest of the Netherlands. The history of the case starts when an REC waste incinerator was built near the centre of Harlingen. There was a lot of local public concern about dioxin emissions. In the next fragment, Lucas Reinders, Professor of Environmental Science, makes the statement that the local authorities say the incinerator is clean, but he states that that is a lie. In protesteerde Jennifer and with her 800 other bezorgde inwoners of Harlingen vanmiddag tegen de afval over. Ze kregen steun van hoogleraar Lucas Reinders. Het kan niet goed gaan op deze manier. En als je naar de overheden luistert hier in uh, Friesland, dan zeggen die in feite, maar ja, dit is een hele schone oven. En dat is niet waar. The dioxin emissions comply to European Union norms, but the measurements are only taken twice a year. This represents only a few hours a year, and no dioxin-like polychlorinated biphenyls, PCBs, are measured. There are no analyses of other wastes from the incinerator, like the bottom ashes. ToxicoWatch set up a biomonitoring program for soil, feed, milk and eggs by the biotechnical DR Calyx screening analysis. Here you see the characteristics of tested backyard chickens. Whether there are fireplaces on the premises, the number of chickens, how much free range there is, hen house capacity, age and race. The results of the dioxins in eggs of backyard chickens show elevated levels in most of the samples, even in the most beautiful places. In this diagram, you can see the consequences for the daily acceptable intake of an adult woman of 70 kilos. And if we take the new norms of the Environmental Protection Agency in America, the consequences for men are more severe, and especially also for young and unborn children. Here are the results of the separated dioxins in eggs of the backyard chickens. Red means the action level is exceeded. Verification with chemical analysis of the results with DR Calyx confirms the total dioxins. There's a notable difference in the partition of the dioxins and dioxin-like PCBs in Harlingen. We placed the results of the PCDDFs and the dioxin-like PCBs, DR Calyx, in eggs of backyard chickens on the map of Harlingen. Is there a relationship with the activity of the incinerator. Most polluted eggs are found very near to the incinerator. Measurements of the soil where the backyard chickens have polluted eggs give elevated results of dioxin. In the feed of the chickens, dioxins were below the detection limit. 
In the congener pattern of PCDDFs in polluted eggs, the ratio of octa and heptachlor dioxins is 2. This ratio correlates with the results of the incinerator. But how about the biological availability? Is that the same for these dioxins? Half of the dioxin activity comes from PCB126. This is the most poisonous dioxin-like PCB. There is no information of emissions on dioxin-like PCBs from the incinerator. Most of the time, PCB126 is related to other sources than thermal emissions. There is a need for controlling the supply of waste. As a conclusion, one can say eggs of backyard chickens can be used as sensitive biomarkers of dioxin PCB pollution. Further research is needed to evaluate the use of the patterns of congeners to track the source of the pollution. Sources Historical pollution Former municipal waste disposals Polluted landfills Car and ship demolition activities Lubricants, coolants, waterproofing agents, paints Building materials where PCB-containing sealants were used, e.g. schools. Backyard burning of household trash. Burning of wood treated with pentachlorophenol, PCP. Wood anti-fouling paint. Sewage sludge, previously used as fertilizer. Agricultural pollutants, pesticides. The incinerator. A message to take home. Evaluating the impact of an incinerator on the neighbourhood is difficult. There is a need for cooperation with the incinerator operators to define the dioxin output. Further source identification via soil sampling does not yet link the PCB contamination in the eggs to the source. There is no governmental support so far, only private and local support. If you have any similar experiences, or questions, please contact the Toxico Watch Foundation. Thank you.